Hello, I'm joined today by Franco Missouri on the InfoVista stand at Mobile World Congress. Hello, Franco. Hello. Now, InfoVista is not the company it was a year ago, is it? There's been some evolution, some change. Maybe take us through that a little bit and what your current areas of focus are. Sure, sure, absolutely. Uh, InfoVista, around two years ago, started uh, a new journey to become uh, probably one of the first real cloud native company not just in terms of technology, but in terms of uh, way to think, uh, approaching the customer, putting the customer at the center of the attention, and fundamentally to become a leader, not just, uh, as I said, in products, uh, but in the capability to be a real DevOps company in the way in which we approach the customer when the customer has a need, in the way in which we do the product, we deliver the product, we support the product, mm -hmm. and fundamentally we give a continuity and the, and the future to all our customers. So the, the journey started uh, two years ago, mm -hmm. now we're in a very good shape, and we are, we are here finally to, also to show some of the result mm -hmm. of this uh, strategy. Yes. And your strategy is very closely aligned to network um, automation, life cycle um, automation. Maybe just tell us about InfoVista and how you're innovating your NLA approach to next generation of cloudified fixed and wireless networks. Sure, absolutely. Mm. InfoVista has been for many years mm. leader in the planning area, mm. in the testing and drive testing, in insurance, uh, and uh, with acquisition of Empirix uh, last year, mm. they become also leader in the what we call the experience insurance. The concept is these three were, for all the market, considered a sort of silos. Mm. Yeah. Each one serving a specific uh, segment of the service provider space. In reality, what we have done we have reversed the situation from a vertical move to horizontal and have, have each of these pieces helping the other part to be to provide more value, more uh, fundamentally a result. So in other words, uh, we have taken all our IP, all yeah. our products, and created a set of applications that run on top of the common cloud native platform okay. in such a way that the customer can get from the planning through the testing, through mm. the insurance, yes. through the uh, optimization and monetization as a single process. Yeah. Of course, automation plays a fundamental role, not only mm. in terms mm. of uh, workflow automation, process automation, but also in terms of network automation. Yeah. So our aim with NLA is to provide that sort of process automation, network automation in a single Mm. fundamentally uh, uh, panel glass. Right, and you've also launched a new product, which I think is called Ativa, and if I'm right, you're aiming to provide visibility across all network domains. Maybe just tell us a little bit more. That's absolutely correct. Mm. Ativa is mm. the first, uh, mm. uh, let me say, evident uh, result of the NLA mm. strategy. Mm. In reality, what we've taken, we've taken already very well-known component that we had from mm. the previous Vista Inside, Vista mm. Experience and Clarity, and created something that uh, takes the data from the infrastructure level, mm. transmission level, network level, service level, device level, application level, subscriber, and create uh, a single vision in such a way that we, you can scroll down and drill down or drill up from the bottom up to the top and vice versa, for every dimension that you have in, yeah. for in a wireless or in the wireline network, mm. as well as in the future uh, enterprise mobile network. Yes. Ativa is the first result of the NLA strategy, yep. and we are really glad to announce uh, it's going to be a fundamentally uh, a platform, pure cloud native, that can be deployed in every type of situation, either a public cloud, private cloud, uh, even cut or mm. any mix and you're going to provide a unique visibility yes. from, uh, as I said, infrastructure up to the subscriber and vice versa. Yes, and by adopting this approach, what benefits do you think service providers will get from this? Definitely, number mm. one is mm. uh, reduce uh, mm. the time to repair, mm. reduce the, the trouble to repair. Mm. We have a, a set of applications that are focusing the smart capex, so how I can intelligently invest my money in terms of uh, rate expansion, mm. in terms of core, because we take consideration not just the technical parameter, mm. but as I said at the beginning, we put the customer at the center of our strategy. Mm. At the end of the day, all the potential revenue for any operator in the world come from the capability to keep uh, 
that customer happy, yeah. monitor it, and be sure that the, the customer, I mean, the service provider deliver the right uh, uh, service. With our, some of our application, like the Smart CapEx, is all around linking the quality experience with the, the investment, with the cost of the investment, uh, with the logistic and the area in which the investment should be done. Yeah. It's, it's a beautiful uh, application and very, very important. We can leverage a lot of data that are already existing in any type of customer and service provider to really create uh, the best scenario of in which uh, the service provider should invest their money. So there are many of these cases and I invite you and everybody here to really ping us and we have a wonderful demo system uh, that we can show to you on many multiple use cases that we have developed on Activa and on NLA. Well, it sounds a compelling narrative, but I'm going to put you on the spot now. Uh, next 12 months, what developments do you see coming down the line? I tell you, definitely there are three. We are working on three parallel paths. Had more and more intelligence. Of course, everybody are talking about AI, machine learning and so on. The concept that automation require less uh, manual step, but more intelligence. Because when we replace manual step, we have to be sure that we don't replace the brain. At the end of the day, we have to take the brain of the people and put the brain into the problem. So, definitely intelligence, that's number one. Second is create more and more network automation. So, the concept of SON or SDN that uh, we're talking about this since 10, 10 years or even more, mm. now it's become possible. Before yes. it was a challenge, now it's become possible and definitely NLA and Activa play a fundamental role. So, automation at the network level. And that the third level fundamentally is to make uh, this type of, uh, let me say, solution mm. easy to use. Yeah. Still today, you need to have so, so much expertise mm. that is sometimes it's very difficult to find such expertise within the, the service provider. So we have to make the, the thing simple. Yeah. So simplify mm. the way in which you can get the result and benefit yes. from uh, this type of solution. Okay, Franco, thanks very much for those fascinating insights. It's been a pleasure speaking to you. Thank you. Thanks very much. Thanks.